This is Fred Beck and Fred Joyce fighting. I'm in Nashville today after the show's <coughs> finished. I'm joined by Most Wanted. Um, we'll just go straight into it then. All right, I'm gonna try and keep this video short. Misfits 13. I haven't talked about a Misfits card in like, since October, I think. This was some pretty good ones. Um, Like the one before this one, definitely not 13. Oh, let me, whew. I'll get into all this stuff later. There were two major things that happened. One, well actually technically three or four, but uh, that's not the main focus of the video. The main focus is the second point. Yeah, so let's get on with it. First thing that happened obviously was the bomb threat. The bomb threat, like, I don't know what, like, like, what can you say at this point? Um, allegedly it was an Aiden Ross fan and I'm not gonna lie, I wouldn't be surprised because Aiden Ross's fan base is just complete idiots. They're absolute morons and people that aren't real, basically. If you go on the street, people who actually go outside, you ask them, did you watch the, the recent Aiden Ross stream? No, you're not gonna, no one's gonna say yes, all right? I guarantee you that. Like, people that I can actually sit and watch someone's whole 12 hour stream, like, I really question what you do in life. I question your mental health. A lot of the fan base from streamers are pretty aggravating and just downright immature. Mainly little kids, like in between 15 to 17, mainly. Um, I say that, but I look like I'm f***ing 12. There's not much for me to say about the bomb threat. They caught the guy already. He's been f***ing jail, thank God. And now on to the main topic of what I want to say and why I'm so f frustrated and angry. I'm pissed off dude all right i feel like us smaller creators like me you know we work our asses off you know people like me and i give this guy a lot of sh lesra gomez you know i give him a lot of sh but hey i gotta tip my hat off to him people like him work hard to you know promote themselves as a smaller creator people like divine i completely understand like today um mams just recently released a tweet saying that he's gonna be a lot more strict on who gets the fight on misfits you know i completely understand why and he also said that it's perfect motivation for smaller creators to want to become you know big creators but um there's a lot of right things that are right and wrong with that because you know starting with number one youtube's algorithm is so garbage people like me have been stunted at under a thousand so my mic cuts out at this point of the video but basically what i wanted to say was that youtube's algorithm is very unreliable for some creators it helps them a lot it recommends their content but someone like me um i'm not doing too great view wise so that's not going to help me at all mainly if i want to grow and become a bigger creator um that's all i really want to say for this part and youtube's algorithm just did not give a Shit about me they didn't care you know i use tags it didn't it didn't help at all whatsoever but something that i want to thank you know the influencer boxing the crossover boxing scene i just want to thank you all for giving me much of a voice you know whoa i just hit my mic i've had more success doing this stuff than any other content and i'm going to continue doing this stuff because i love it but something that's absolutely demotivating was most wanted pulling out of the main event for misfits 13. i'll give most wanted credit all right for his first fight, he took a hard fight on his debut and he showed up. I'll give you credit for that, Most Wanted. But for how much shit you were talking on the build-up for 13, like, go f*** yourself, dude. Like, it's hard to defend the guy, alright? The guy was saying stuff like this. Welcome to my undercard, newborn sons and daughters. Like, how are you gonna say this and then pull out, dude? Like, I'm not gonna lie, like, my f pride would not be able to pull out, dude. If I was talking this much and I knew I was gonna get my ass beat, I would still walk out, all right? Most Wanted has absolutely tarnished like 99% of small creators' chances of fighting on a platform like Misfits. As much as we also wanna sh on Most Wanted, you know, I don't think it was a good idea giving someone who's coming off a KO loss. Better scramble like an egg before you get folded like an omelet, nigga. Yeager. Yeager. And it's only their second fight, the main event. Like they go from their opening prelim fight to fighting on a main event and like that is not a great like that's not great planning if i'm being honest like, i don't think it's fair to smaller creators because there's tons of other people that would have taken this opportunity and ran with it and given it their all like now because like most wanted like i'm not gonna lie like when he first got the joey king fight it was an inspiration to a lot of smaller creators like me because we were like huh if most wanted was able to get onto the big the big show the big platforms if he was able to get on that then that get, that gives a chance a higher chance for people like me to, you know to get on these events but now because of most wanted that's not gonna f***ing happen and um i'm gonna have to work extra harder working hard for me is not an issue i always work how i work hard no matter what um i know there's gonna be people commenting saying oh there was never a chance for you to fight on misfits well guess what there was never a chance for most wanted to fight on misfits and guess what he got a main event in second fight so Fuck off. That's really all I have to say. By the way, 
Congrats to Nikki Rue. Thank God Astrid White is not champion. Astrid White is like probably top five most unbearable people in the crossover boxing scene. More unbearable than Jake Paul. This video was actually supposed to be the Mike Tyson and Jake Paul video, but even more stupid sh then that happened, so um, yeah. I'm obviously gonna be, up to, I'm gonna have to be on go mode 100% now. Yeah, f you most wanted, you're an idiot. You shouldn't have signed the contract if you knew you weren't ready. That's all I'm gonna say. You've made people in the small creator scene look stupid and cowardly. So um, that's all your fault. Congratulations, you moron. Before I end this video off, actually, um, my camera settings all messed up, so I'm not gonna show myself. I forgot to show this part of the tweet from, uh, what's his face, most wanted. And this is to, he said this to a professional fighter, by the way, a professional MMA fighter. You fighting on FCC, and I'm main eventing on Misfits, where you wish you could be. Tweeting all that bullshit about me and acting like a hoe? You can go suck that racist clown's dick who clearly lied about me. Yeah, you can, you can suck a dick, most wanted. You look stupid now.